little project time. Now this is a HP T620 thin client. It is a uh, 2 gigahertz AMD um, processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM and it has a 16 gigabyte solid state disk from uh, SanDisk sitting right here. Now it runs uh, a Windows 10 uh, clone on this. But unfortunately it's not possible to reinstall um, something like Linux uh, on this uh, solid state drive or you can in fact install Linux but getting the grub bootloader to work is kind of tricky and I did not succeed doing so. So what I did instead was to take advantage of one of these two internal USB ports and simply uh, use a old um, SATA drive um, interface here. And I will simply just mount the uh, hard drive here on this little um, fan lid and just like that I'll have the hard drive inside of the uh, small enclosure here. Um, also I did not have the original uh, power supply for it so I used an old discarded Lenovo 20 volt uh, power supply while this unit takes 19.5 volt DC, uh, 20 volt DC is no, is no problem for this. There is however a little trick that has to be done uh, and I can show you up close. Here in the back side we can see the power port here, that it has a outer um, shield, then there is a small pin in the middle and there is a inner shield. So. In the big circle on the outside you have both the outer and inner circle connector which is the negative and the positive um, connector and then in the middle is a small identification pin. So if we take a look here on the inside I had to uh, solder in a resistor in order to fool this um, motherboard into thinking it's a original HP power supply. As you can see the blue wire is mounted on the uh, metal uh, case of the power plug and the uh, brown, the, which is the positive, is on the uh, outer leg. There's, it's a three-legged three uh, connector and that is internally connected to the other outer leg over here. And then between the uh, third pin, uh, the ident identification pin, and the other um, positive pin, I have a 330, um, 330k resistor. This uh, is enough to fool it into thinking it's original. So let's get it turned on. You can hear a little humming from the... Uh, hard disk here. That's just an old 120 gigabyte uh, drive I had laying around. I did not recall all correctly. As you can see here it has 4 gigabytes of RAM and it is a quad-core CPU. So let's just check out the um, boot order here. Let's see we have the Seagate Free Agent Go which is the uh, old um, hard drive driver or SATA driver that I'm using. So here I have DBN9 stretched uh, installed. So here we are logging into uh, Debian. It is not the fastest thing in the world running this from a uh, old USB um, hard drive. So it, it doesn't really make it just to have such a fast uh, thin client and then abuse it with something like this. So in some time I will find out how to uh, format the uh, SSD to install the um, grub bootloader on it so I can actually boot at a recent speed.
does however look a little slower than I'm used to. I didn't remember it as quite this slow. So let's see about system. And as we can see here, running Debian Linux 9, the CPU, and it has 3.3 gigabytes of RAM because it shares some 700 megabytes for the graphics card. So yeah, that's a little bit about uh, turning a thin client into running Linux on a external hard drive.